Folks, the Tamron Trilogy is coming. There's a rumor that Tamron will announce a third lens that would complete their lineup of Sony FE mount lenses, and you know what? I am beyond excited. Before I get into it, we publish new content weekly, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. So people have been begging for a fixed aperture tele zoom lens to be added to Tamron's existing lineup ever since Tamron introduced their 17 to 28 and 28 to 75 zoom lens. Lots of people expected they would come out with a zoom lens covering somewhere between 70 and 200, and it looks like Tamron is going to deliver. Now, Tamron left us with a cliffhanger when they rolled out their existing lineup, and we need closure. Imagine your favorite trilogy without the final movie. I mean, can you imagine not having the Return of the King and Lord of the Rings trilogy, or not having Return of the Jedi for Star Wars? Well, it looks like Tamron is closing out their trilogy. That's how you might have felt having the 17 to 20 and 28 to 75 millimeter lens. You have a lens that was great for vlogging, group photos, and landscape shots with the 17 to 28, and you have your standard zoom lens for events and street photography with the 28 to 75. But what do you do for sporting events or wildlife photos when you want some zoom? Tamron already teased us with a silhouetted image of a lens, but that's about it. The rumor is, is that they are set to announce a new 70 to 180 millimeter f2.8 FE lens sometime in October, and I can't wait. Something tells me they're gonna unveil it during the Photo Plus conference in New York, but your guess is as good as mine. Should we get our hopes up? Is the lens ready for production, or is the announcement only gonna be that it's gonna be in development? Please don't tease us, Tamron, we want it now. Some of the most popular sellers here at Digital Goja have been the 17 to 28 and 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron Sony FE mount lenses, and adding a 70 to 180 millimeter F2.8 lens would complete this epic trilogy. Tamron's existing lenses have stacked up well against Sony's when comparing performance and price, and the upcoming lens should be no different. And if what we've seen from Tamron's other lenses is any indication, the new zoom lens should be compact and come at an affordable price. I get excited thinking about this trilogy of lenses and being able to carry it around in one small bag. If you're excited about starting or having your own Tamron trilogy like I am, the existing Tamron FE mount lenses are linked in the description box below. But like me, you'll have to wait for the third installment. So one question that I have about the new Tamron lens is if it will feature stabilization. If they're going the route that they've taken with their previous lenses and try to keep it as compact and affordable as possible, then probably not. But if you're in the market for a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and you've been thinking about getting Sony's G Master, then this might be a great option for you. So are you in the market for a 70 to 200 millimeter lens? If you are, would the possibility of a 70 to 180 millimeter Tamron lens change your opinion on Sony's G Master? I know I'm excited about this upcoming announcement. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, remember hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.